I didn't create a script for this video, so I don't know how I'm about to do this, but let's just go. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Queen Karen, your favorite video editor who teaches you how to up your editing game from beginner to pro. And welcome back to day two of our content creation challenge. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your videos more appealing. Yep. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to change your background properly, properly, properly. Because so many of you have complained under my comment section saying there's so many glitches and that and that and that. And then the CapCut has made its features pro and blah, 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 blah. I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this. Yeah, I changed the background of this particular video using a particular app. You can guess the app, obviously. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this. But before we get started, make sure you go watch day one content creation challenge where I taught you guys how to create your thumbnail for your YouTube channel because it's very, very important to grab the attention of your audience to watch your videos. That's the first thing people look at your thumbnail. So first watch this video, then come to this video, because if people don't click on your videos based on your thumbnail, they will never get to see what's in the video. So watch this video and then come back to this one or just stay to the very end and go back and watch it. So yeah. And before we get started, I want you guys to actually go watch this video. You know, go watch it. Go, go watch it and come back and tell me what you learned, you know? Because I taught you guys how to remove the background from your pictures. So if you know how to remove the background from your pictures, you should be able to know how to remove the background from your videos. Go watch it. So before we get started, let's talk about the things you need to do to make sure you have a smooth change of background. Number one, you need to make sure you're filming your videos on a plain background. There's absolutely nothing behind me. Nothing. Let me show you. See, there's absolutely nothing behind me. The second thing you need to do is give yourself distance between your phone and the background. Like this is where I'm standing and my back, like where I'm standing is quite far, like this far. Okay. So you need to create space between you, your phone, you, and your background. Don't be so close to the wall. Don't be so close to whatever is behind you. There's a probability of your videos coming out glitching or maybe the background not even clearing up completely. So make sure you create a distance between yourself, your phone. This is where my phone is. This is where I am. This is where I am. That's where the background is. Okay? Yes. These are two major things you need to consider before even planning to change your background in your videos. Okay, good. Now let's go straight into editing. Let me show you guys how to change your background for free. I always give you guys free tutorials, free things, free, free, free. Who doesn't like something free, you know? Who doesn't like a free thing? So with nothing else to say because I didn't script down what I'll say next, Let's just go straight into editing. Yes, I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove the background using the InShot app. And all you have to do is click on video. Once you click on it, you want to import the picture of the new background that you want to use in your video. So let's do that right now. Click on video, new, go to photos, and then select the new background that you want to use in your video. Click on tick. And there you go. The first thing we want to do is change it to the YouTube size. That's by clicking on canvas, choosing YouTube, that's 16.9, clicking on zoom, full screen, and tick. There you go. You can bring it down or take it up, whichever one you want. Next, all we have to do is click on the PIPI PIP, and then it's kind of like overlay on CapCut. So when you click on it, we're going to import the video that we want to change the background. Now, while the video is selected, we want to scroll down to we see cutouts. Click on cutout, click on cutout again, and it will automatically remove the background. As you can see, it's counting the percentage to 100. So once it gets to 100, it means it's completed, but you can still carry on with what you want to do. So click on tick. So we can just zoom this in and tick it, if that's how you want it to be. Now, the next thing for us to do is extend the new background to the end of the overlaid video. The overlaid video is the blue line you're seeing underneath. So extend this to the very end. There we go. Now it's covering everything. Cutout completed. 
and we're done <laughs> we're done all you have to do now is just select your overlaid video again go to filter adjust and then maybe sharpen this video up tick and there you have it and yes i know the inshot watermark is showing right there all you have to do is hit cancel click on the inshot watermark right there and all you have to do is watch a free ad or not sometimes it shows ads sometimes it doesn't show ads so let's see if it's going to show us an ad it's loading oh look it didn't show us an ad so we didn't even need to watch an ad but the inshot watermark is gone and now we can just download a video save and there we go background removed let's go into CapCut. Now on CapCut, all you need to do is click on new project and import the picture of the new background that you want to use for your video. Done. Now click on overlay and import the video that you want to change the background. Done. Now with the video selected, slide down to remove background, remove it, and it will automatically remove on its own. And we all know that this is a pro feature. So if you want to know how to do this, you can watch one of my videos to learn how to, you know, download all this for free. So that's basically how we're going to go about it after here. But this is what you have to do. Just remove the background, extend the picture to the very end of the video, select the video, extend it to fit the screen. Oh, look, the background is removed automatically. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed something. We did not change aspect ratio. So what we're going to do is go to aspect ratio, YouTube, tick, then increase the size. Then for the overlaid video, we're going to reduce it. And there you go. Select the overlaid video, go to adjust and sharpen your video. And there you have it. You've removed the background. You notice that your video is clear, it's sharp, no glitches whatsoever. So try this and let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, don't miss any day, Wednesdays and Fridays throughout the month of January. I'll see you guys in my next one. I hope you guys found this video very helpful. I hope you'll be using this in your next video. Comment down below if you enjoyed this video or what you liked. What's, what's the new thing you learned in this video? What do you want to learn next? I've told you guys to comment down what you want to learn next because if you don't comment, I'm not going to teach you. So and don't come here telling me, oh, you didn't talk about this. Can you do this? Can you do that? Whenever people leave a comment down below on my videos, I make sure I reply. I make sure I pay attention. I make sure I do what they say. Well, it's not a command. I just love to do it. So comment down below what you want me to teach you next. Or probably not. You'll just get what I have to give you, you know? Yeah. Make sure you guys don't miss any day of this content challenge because this is going to help you build a perfect YouTube channel as a beginner. Like I'm giving you all the tips you need for free. So don't miss a day. Go back and watch day one. Come back and watch day two again. You can save this video for later. You can share it to a friend. Just so you can remind yourself that you have a video somewhere to go watch okay thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next one love you and bye